Hi everyone, this is Martin. Uh, this is our second video, uh, posterior cusp buildup as you voted for on the poll on our page Martin Dental Course. So this is how the tooth has been prepared in the last few exam. Uh, a class 2 with buccal extension with mesiobuccal cusp broken almost in half. Uh, like all composite work, what we need to do is to remove... Oh. Uh, we're going to remove the sharp edges if we have any, any like undermined animals and, um, and then we do a bevel all around the cavity and we start building up with composite. So 260 is the bed that we're going to use for the bevel and for most of the um, you know, polishing at the end as well. You hold the bed at 45 degree and we give it about 1 mm bevel all around. Be careful, do not cut the adjacent teeth, yeah? So the bevel should, should be literally all around. And even inside the cavity, we do a gentle, quick bevel. Here we go, the bevel is done, like as you can see about 1 mm all around the um, cavity. And now we are ready to start building up with composite. So now you can see how I placed the minor strip around the tooth. Um, I, I wrapped it around the buccal side, two wedges in either side to hold the minor strip in place. I left the mesial side a little longer than distal because every time before I cure it, I need to hold this and wrap it around so it's good to leave it a bit long so you can nicely grab it. We're applying bonding as nicely with the micro brush inside the Lyca D boxes that you have over the bevel all around the cavity nicely. We do not etch here because it's a plastic tooth and it doesn't require etching and neither in the index in the exam. Curing for curing for twenty seconds. So we are applying composite nicely, usually I like ball burnisher to, to pack it with. If you don't want your burnisher stick to the composite, you can dip it into uh, bonding. Pack it nicely um, over the cavity, over the bevel that you have, the buccal and this um, proximal extension, the boxes that you have nicely, make sure you don't have any gap or void. Yeah. So you will get some excess in the buccal or occlusal, which is not a big deal, it can be easily removed, but what you need to do is you should not have any excess in the interproximal. And how you avoid that is before you cure it, you hold the mesial again, you wrap it tight around the tooth, and then we cure it. Now we, um, I'm holding the um, mylar strip wrapped up around the tooth nice, uh, tightly, and then we cure it for about 20 seconds. Uh, we do composite in layers and in increments, you know that, it's to reduce the uh, shrinkage and sensitivity afterward. I'm now adding the second increment. Composite, again, pack it nicely over the tooth, wherever you want it, pack it nicely. And again, just before we cure it, we wrap the mesial around the tooth, mesial side of the uh, mylar, and we cure it for another 20 seconds. Now I'm adding the last layer of composite. So when I do add this layer, I'll try to give it a bit, little bit of shape, although that's not a big deal because we shape it with the bear always slightly overfill it and then at the end we grind it down with the beer but at this point at least I can get my um, marginal ridge just mark it where the marginal ridge is and give it a little bit shape you know to the cusp and you know the buccal fissure as well um, and later on it's easier for me to um, now we are removing the wedges and mylar strip gently because we do not edge these plastic teeth so the bonding is not as strong as the bond to 
natural teeth so be very careful while you're removing this there we go now it's the time for polishing I'll start from where I can see the easiest which is buckle so we're and shaping as well so we will use the buckle now be very gentle some of it is very soft at this point so Remove your bear very lightly over the tooth and comfort yourself. Do not remove too much and constantly check it in the mirror. Make sure that um, the two cusps are almost in the equal level and the, you know, the, cusp, the cusp that you have built up just is not too stick out compared to the distal cusp. You can have your buckle feature back as well. As you can see, I'm placing my fingers in the sulcus because it's, you're not allowed to put it on the uh, seven as you will be retracting the patient cheek too much and that could hurt. So now um, I'm going to turn the head to the right and sit on the left to see the um, to do the occlusal part. So now we're cutting the occlusal and shaping the cut from the margin that we created for marginal ridge. Stop. So the tip of the bed in the center of the chest side over the cut and then shape the cut. Don't make it too flat. Okay. Now as you can see the um, shaping with the bear is, is finished almost. We have the uh, marginal ridge. Um, we have marginal ridge. We have no excess in the interproximal. I haven't done any removing or anything. The fact that I wrapped it around every time it helped that I don't have any excess there so it made my job much much easier. So now I can only polish it with a white stone or softlex disc for a couple of minutes and the job is almost uh, done. This is the view of the occlusal uh, surface, marginal ridge, the cusp and buccal fissure, the anatomy. You can always uh, ref look at the contralateral 6 and uh, try to copy that as much as possible. So we uh, this video has nothing to do with sh um, selecting shades because we, we deliberately choose a darker shade so it can be seen in contrast with the tooth. Um, for polishing we can use white stone as well as you can use soft flex disc as well. I prefer white stone so you can do a bit of polishing with that. Be careful because white stone as well can easily damage the um, adjacent teeth. Now the work is done, you can see um, cusp build up is done, marginal ridge we have it, we have the cusp, the cusp is rounded, it's not square in the corners and we have a nice and tight contact. Obviously you're going to have to check your contact with floss. That's the end of demonstration, I hope this, uh, this can help. Uh, thank you for watching, uh, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Matin Dental Course.